500, there is a real chance because money is flowing out of Bitcoin right now that we could honestly flow down to 38,000 in a heartbeat. We want to maintain this momentum. We've got to get above 43,000 and hold it. So in my opinion, we've got to get up here today and we've got to hold 43,000. The 42,553 is a major resistance area in this area. But if we don't hold 41,800, I believe that would propel us down to 38,000. <clears> 38,800 area, somewhere in there. And that's my warning right now. If we break this formation and end up back, let's say Bitcoin ends up back inside of here, I think we'll get rejected and we'll end up way back down around here. I think that's what's happening in Bitcoin. We've started a bearish divergence here. So this is a Bitcoin warning, like we talked about a little bit earlier. Bitcoin, if it decides to pull down, will come down some 2,500 to 3,000 points and it's gonna be quick. So I don't want anybody to get caught off guard. <clears throat> now, if we move up and we can break 43,000 and hold it, we're in some real good shape to go to 45.5. The problem is, is money's flowing out of Bitcoin. So that's something to consider. A lot of people are in profits and I want you guys to have the opportunity to decide here because it's a 50-50 decision right now. It's just right now the indicators are flashing bearish a little bit. Like we said yesterday, we could push this 42.5, maybe 43K again. But if we don't break over 43K again, this is going to be very bad. And you'd be looking at a 5,000 point, 4,500 point drop in the very near future. It could happen today. So when money starts flowing out of Bitcoin, it's kind of not a good sign. So I just wanted to come out and put a Bitcoin warning. That would put a warning on all altcoins. If you see Bitcoin drop below 41,800, especially... And use that at resistance at any point today. We're looking at a drop of 3,000 points from there to 38.8. In my opinion, I think we're having a big problem here. Money's flowing out of some of the altcoins now. Stochastic's getting overbought and even the 30-minute. So if XRP breaks below 77.3 at any time today, well, 804 would get you back to 77.3. So we're going to see what happens with Bitcoin. We're going to see if, in fact, this plays out like I'm seeing. Unless we flip with some volume <clears throat> and money starts flowing back into Bitcoin and we can reverse the 20 cross and the 50 EMA because that's a very bearish signal. This is the start of a bearish divergence by uh, technical indicators. So pay attention and be alert and do not get caught.